from the Journal of Aframas Long Journey. Program. With notes by Avast Thor, scholar of Reeve Library. Erev Day, 24th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. 88th day in the trees. It is difficult to travel away from the path. We must go around trees, bushes, and other obstacles. There are hills and gullies we must climb, rocks that block the way. Game trails help at times, but they only go so far and twist in strange directions. Note, it's recommended that visitors to the woods stay on the road when at all possible. While many naturalists and explorers have made great discoveries off the beaten path, the dangers of encountering vicious predators, ancient urses, or traveling salesmen increase dramatically. This was to be expected. What I did not expect was how out of place I feel. The path was often dangerous and strange, but it was a place for travelers. I never felt I was an intruder on the path. Here, there is no sign that anyone else has ever passed this way. No ruts from wheels nor footprints. No wear on the ground. We are alone with the beasts and the plants. Despite the walls of trees and undergrowth, I feel very exposed. If we are attacked, we will find it difficult to run. A predator could be at arm's length, and I would not know. That is not to say we are shaking in fear at every shadow. I am sure we will make it safely through. But I doubt I will relax again before we reach the path. Torn doesn't share my wariness. While he pays attention to our surroundings, he seems almost more at ease here than he did on the path. He whistles, hums, and sings a little. I should tell him not to sing. We do not know what it will draw to us. Yet I cannot bring myself to make him stop. It gives him great comfort, and I must admit, a part of myself is comforted as well. His singing is no better than it has ever been. But it is familiar. He is cooking our meal. He managed to be quiet just long enough to catch a few unwary rabbits. So we shall eat well tonight. 